Ja, hallo zusammen, seid gegrüßt zu einer weiteren Folge von Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, direkt vor einer relativ spannenden Stelle, denn wir sind hier in diesem Schloss in Grenzel, weil wir, ähm, ja, das Dinner quasi gewonnen haben, dadurch, dass wir bei der letzten Competition als Sieger hervorgegangen sind und das steht unmittelbar bevor, alles ist soweit, wir wurden aufgefordert, uns in unserem Zimmer einzufinden, wo auch Zane auf uns wartet. Hey guys, talk about being late. The party's about to start, you know? Das wissen wir schon, das gleiche wollten wir dir auch mitteilen. Sorry, we got so caught up in sightseeing that we lost track of time. Plus, we also talked to all of the mayors. Huh, well, aren't we well connected? We're close friends with the mayor of Roland. Plus, we've met the other mayors in the course of our travels. Ah, I see. I guess your workers braces has caused you to meet quite a few big shots. You two sure get around for junior braces. Hehe, <laughs> yeah, you might say that. Have you done any bracer assignments since we came to Grenzel? I guess it's not all that different in other countries, right? Right, for full-fledged bracer, nationality isn't an issue when it comes to your work. The prelim fights and legal procedures at the embassy kept me too busy to get any actual work done though. But hey, there are four other braces on duty too, which isn't so bad. Ja, vor allen Dingen, als wir immer in einer, in einer Guild gewesen sind, da gab's ja keine Aufträge, ne? Sonst hätten wir uns dem ja auch angenommen. Normally that would be enough to handle most cases, I'd imagine. But with all of them concentrated in Grenzel, that must make it tough to handle any cases in other regions. Ha <laughs> yeah, could be. Uh, I feel like a goose just walked over my grave. I wonder what's going on with Shira back in Roland. Now that name rings a bell. You wouldn't happen to be talking about Shira's art, would you? Uh-huh, ihr kennt euch, you know her. <clears throat> she's our mentor and she's been a close friend for ages. Oh, okay, makes sense. I met her a long time ago when a case brought her to Calvert. She was fortunate to have a good master working with her from such a young age. Her master? Yeah, probably dead. Aha, ja, das wäre nun nichts Neues, haben wir schon relativ früh im Spiel erfahren. Please pardon me, the table for the dinner party has been set. May I show you the way? Sure, I was getting bored with waiting anyhow. Alright, wanna go and eat fancy? Sure, that fine left me starving. Let's go dig in. Stimmt, wir haben ja heute erst diesen finalen Kampf ausgetragen, ne? Seitdem ist ja keine Nacht vergangen. Das findet hier quasi noch am selben Tag statt. Come on, you two. It would be nice if you two didn't completely forget your table manners for once. Aber er ist da, bin ich mir nicht so sicher. Und sehen? Hat er keine Tischmanieren? Um, this is a dinner party, right? Uh, what's with all the empty plates, then? Plenty of knives and forks, though. Na, wir haben uns ja eigentlich zu viert angekündigt, ne? Also, dass ein Platz leer ist, ähm, müsste ja dadurch erstmal begründet sein. That's because it's a formal dinner. Everything comes out in a specific order, starting with... ...ors d'oeuvres, oder so. Then you use the knives and forks from the outside in. And that's all part of having good table manners? And here comes the ancient... the angst... Ich kann das Wort nicht aussprechen. Manchmal kann ich das aussprechen, manchmal kann ich es nicht. Jetzt gerade kann ich es nicht. Auf jeden Fall ist das Angst. <lacht> Attack. <lacht> it's really not so bad. It does mean that you get to have some of the finest food available. Manners and etiquette are secondary. Indeed, indeed. I'm told that you're acquainted with everyone who will be attending. No need to get stressed out. Yeah, I guess that's true. Please don't encourage her. <lacht> <laughs> On that note, is the gentleman accompany accompanying you uh, going to be okay with a knife and fork? I'm told that folks from the east usually eat with chopsticks. You've done your research. However, I'm a firm believer in the when a liver do as the liver liverians do policy. I'm not especially skilled with them, but I will use a knife and fork. My, how elegantly handled. I'm impressed. You're as much a gentleman as you are a martial arts champion. Uh-huh. Funkt's da etwa zwischen den beiden? <laughs> you flatter me. Boy, he really is a complete sucker for a pretty face. <laughs> I think he's more being polite than a leg, though. Lech, leg. Uh -huh. Anyway, his excellency is really late. I wonder what he's up to. 
Mm, indeed. So if the seat at head of the table is for the duke, then who might that other one be for? Might that other one be for her? Indeed. Perhaps it is intended for Princess Claudia. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. My humble apologies for the long delay. Na, jetzt geht's ja los. Jetzt kommt die ganze Prominenz hier, oder was? Presenting His Excellency the Duke. Mm -hmm. Auf den hätte ich ja gerne verzichtet. Ist das der Colonel? Ah ja, und Amaltea, die da jetzt auch noch mit antanzen. Na, Glückwunsch. Ich glaube, da bleibt uns das Essen im Halse stecken. Well then, I must apologize for making you wait so. I'm afraid that I was in a meeting from which I simply could not break away. Ja, mit den anderen beiden wahrscheinlich, ne? This gentleman is Colonel Richard, Commanding Officer of the Royal Intelligence Division. I've invited him here to thank him for his tireless efforts in helping to deal with the terrorist situation. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I was quite gratified to be invited to this occasion by our honorable duke. I ask that you pardon my uncouth soldier's uniform and allow me to sit with you. Nein, ich sag nein, können wir abstimmen bitte? Hm, natürlich nicht. Aber so viele Stühle haben wir nicht, wie ihr Personen seid, oder? You've gotta be kidding. We're having dinner with him? I suspected this might happen, but it's still unnerving. Na, Glückwunsch. Wo sitzen die denn jetzt alle? Oh, der Colonel, der sitzt direkt neben Zane. Und Amaltea muss stehen, oder was? <lacht> excellent, excellent. What say you, Mayor Maybell? What do you think of Grand Castle's Master Chef? Is his cooking not on par with that found in Bose's Antero's restaurant? Yes, it's quite remarkable. The wine selection also perfectly complements the meal. I almost want to try hiring him away. <laughs> you are not the first to say such things. And what of you, Zane, wasn't it? Uh, is the food to your liking? Oh, it's excellent. I don't have the words to describe the sense of refinement and depth. Ich habe irgendwie Angst vor dem Moment, wo er Estelle fragen wird. <laughs> I certainly believe I could develop a real taste for the Liberian cuisine, though. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. And you, young braces? I imagine you've never experienced such fine food in your life before. It's extremely delicious. Far more worthy of being associated with the royal family than the person who invited us. <laughs> oh God! Ich wette, Joshua wird jetzt voll auf den Fuß treten oder so oder sie kneifen. <laughs> Indeed, it is a genuine treat. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, it's certainly delicious food, and we couldn't miss a chance to attend so prestigious an event as this. Thank you very much for your gracious invitation. Gutes Ablenkungsmanöver. Ich glaube, das war auch notwendig. <laughs> very kind of you to say so. I do finally remember what my butler has been telling me about. We met before, during the Ruan incident. Perhaps our fates are linked in some bizarre fashion. Ye yes, sir, maybe so. So he'd forgotten all about us until his butler reminded him. Come, let us put social classes and ranks aside for the evening. Uh huh, soll ich das jetzt gut oder schlecht finden? Ich weiß noch nicht. Food is abundant and the wine flows freely, so enjoy to your heart's content. Ich frage mich echt, wie der Duke so drauf ist, wenn der mal richtig einen Tee hat. Ey, guck mal, der hat eine ganz andere Haarfarbe im Spiel als in dieser Textbox da oben. Das sehe ich gerade zum ersten Mal. Your Excellency, if we could, I like uh, to do as we discussed first. Ah, uh, yes, that's a fine idea. Actually, I have something important to say to you, fine folk who represent the kingdom. I use the celebration as the place to make an important announcement. Also, we schon vermutet, ne? In der letzten Folge oder vorletzte, ich weiß gar nicht mehr, wurde er schon gemutmaßt, was es hier mit auf sich haben wird. An announcement? Uh, and what might that be? Hmm, I believe I will allow Colonel Richard to explain in detail. Thank you. Ich hab Angst. As you are no doubt already aware, Her Majesty has been in poor health of late. However, she has been recovering and may grace us with a public appearance soon. This is eigentlich ganz gut, es sei denn, habt ihr irgendwie was in Zürn initiiert oder so. Ah, uh, that's excellent news! Could we possibly go and check in on her? Unfortunately, she does not consider that to be a wise decision at the moment. Within a few days, it seems likely that the terrorists plaguing the kingdom will be swept away. In light of that, the Queen's birthday celebrations will be held as originally planned. 
Well, the citizens will surely be happy to hear this news as they have been looking forward to it. But surely that is not all you wish to tell us. Right, if that, if that were all, you could have just sent along a message. <laughs> Indeed, you are correct. Her Majesty is continuing to recover as were previously stated. However, given the gravity of her condition, she has also issued a proclamation. Due to her genius health, uh, she has stated that she wishes to abdicate the throne and turn over royal authority to her nephew, Duke Dunen. Okay, ich glaube, hier sollte man kritisch hinterfragen, ob das so der Wahrheit entspricht. Also wenn ich das jetzt richtig verstehe, übergibt sie die Thronfolge jetzt an den Duke, oder was? She wishes. Das heißt, aus eigenem Willen, behauptet er zumindest, will sie jetzt nicht weitermachen. Und aus welchem Grund? Hat sie keinen Bock mehr? Aus gesundheitlichen Gründen? Ich zweifle das sowieso ein bisschen an mit, ihrem, mit ihrer angeblichen Krankheit oder was auch immer. Das hat bisher auch noch niemand irgendwie präzisiert. Außerdem, der Duke, ernsthaft? Stell ich mal vor, der... Oh Gott, ja. Ich glaube, das Land geht vor die Hunde, aber sowas von... W what? Is this true? Joshua, this is... Yeah, the conspiracy finally makes its appearance. I was surprised when Her Majesty first broached the subject as well, but her illness has left her quite frail. Also sagt er uns jetzt offiziell, dass es wirklich an der Krankheit liegt, oder was? But it was only natural. She has ruled the kingdom for 40 years, leading it through times of strife and war, all without a husband, might I add. Given that, I wish to relieve her of the stress of her duties following the festival's successful conclusion. As the heir to the throne, the decisions are mine to make. Ah, the war's a good turn. How terrible! Is Her Majesty's condition truly that severe? I'm ashamed that I've never noticed any signs in any of my annual visits. Siehst du, wenn er das hier schon sagt, dann wird das vielleicht auch eine Erfindung sein, von Anfang an schon. Isn't... isn't this far too serious a matter to discuss at what is supposedly a casual dinner? Pardon my rudeness, but this... Uh, but this all seems to stretch credulity... Cre... Cre... Ich weiß nicht, wie man es ausspricht. May or Mabel? Are you saying that you cannot take His Excellency at his word? N no, nothing of the sort. I simply mean that as an elected official, I don't understand why this is... why the successor to the throne can't be elected in the same fashion. That's true. If possible, I'd like to hear this directly from Her Majesty. Ja, verständlich. Hm, hm. Your unease is quite understandable. But we do ask that you try to maintain your composure and allow us to continue. As mentioned earlier, I believe Her Majesty will give a formal announcement herself during the festival. Could you be persuaded to shelve your doubts until then? Well, the issue is basically this. Once this becomes common knowledge, we cannot know how the citizens will re react. This is why we're telling the leaders first to help stave off any chaos or public disorder before it happens. This was also the decision of His Excellency. <laughs> well, yes, this is true. Also, the Queen's abdication of the throne will have international repercussions. The other nations on the continent will have their eyes on us, and we must be watchful for any action on the part of the Erebonians. Surely you can see why it is necessary to show unified support for the new king. This is the world in which we are going to be living. He makes it all sound so rational. Yeah, he's quite the master manipulator. In other words, the official decree will be given during the birthday celebrations. But you thought it would be best to inform us first, so that we can be prepared for any issues that may arise, correct? Haha, <laughs> I'm glad to see that we have an understanding. Wie arrogant er schon guckt, ey. So richtig zum Reinballern, oder? Hmm. If this all comes to pass, we're going to find ourselves quite busy. Yes, and we have to announce it to the citizens. I have a question. I believe that the Duke has a fair claim to the throne. However, is there not another who also has the same right of succession? W well, no doubt you're referring to Her Majesty's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. Ja, genau, was ist mit der? 
Um, it is true that she and His Excellency have an equal claim to the throne, but it would appear that Her Majesty did not choose her due to her tender age. And I must say I agree with her wisdom in this matter. I should hardly like uh, to impose such responsibility upon a girl so young. Yes, yes, absolutely. Ja, der Duke, der plappert auch noch alles nach, oder? For the time being, I believe it would be best for Claudia to find a fine marriage prospect. Um, though it is strictly informal, there is already interest from the royal families of a number of other nations. Perhaps a royal wedding could take place as soon as this year. Oh my. Mm, I understand. If that happens, then we have two major events to celebrate. Hmm. I honestly she think she is a bit young for marriage. Das Thema hatten wir schon mal. Ich weiß aber nicht mehr, wer da mit wem gesprochen hat. Excuse me, may I ask a question? Z Zane? Hmm? I don't mind, speak freely. Sorry to seem rude, but this doesn't sound like the kind of conversation you'd want outsiders hearing. Particularly a foreigner. So, how come you're making this announcement now? That is solely because of the serendipitous turn of events that allowed Braces to win the championship. We had wanted to inform the guild of this in advance as well. I've already discussed the idea with Her Majesty. Gotcha. I guess Liberty's military and Braces are on just as are on just as good of terms as the stories say. <laughs> that is because we lack the military strength of the Empire nor or the Republic. The harsh reality is that keeping close relations with each other is a must. In any event, do you do you now understand our intentions? Ich dachte, ich habe die ganze Zeit do you know gelesen, aber das stand ja now. Mm, yeah, all right. We'll pass on what we've learned here to the guild then. Sehr komisch das alles. Vor allen Dingen alle, die das jetzt gehört haben, sind irgendwie skeptisch gewesen und ja, aber trotzdem sind wir ja machtlos dagegen, ne? Was willst du machen? Man, I've heard some pretty unbelievable conversations in my time, but that was something else. I mean, I'm a foreigner after all, so it's not that big of a deal for me. I bet that was huge news for you guys, though. Uh, of course it was. I can't believe things have gone this far already. Huh? Uh, n never mind. But really, what a shame. That food was so amazing and it practically melted in the mouth. Couldn't tell what that last flavor was, though. Ich hätte die haben uns auch irgendwas ins Essen gemischt, oder? Haha, <lacht> understandable enough. But anyway, did you want to go for a walk to work up some of that rich food as tell? Huh? Ich glaube, er will nur reden, oder? Unter vier Augen? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I could go for a little bit of fresh air. Uh, you just played tourist a little while ago, and now you want to take an after-dinner walk? I sure don't get it, must be a local thing. <lacht> <lacht> Seine Skepsis ist so berechtigt. <lacht> I think you're exaggerating a little bit. You haven't gone out to take in the sights. You haven't gone out. Uh, there is a lot of historic... Uh, kann ich nicht aussprechen, around here, you know. Architektur, das ist so schön einfach im Deutschen, aber das, nee, keine Ahnung. If the mood hits me, I may still give it a shot. On the other hand, the kitchen may still have some food left over. Was, was, immer noch Hunger? Uh, you've gotta be kidding, you're still hungry? If you had a blade to my throat, my dying wish would be for some liquor and a snack. <laughs> and it's ja auch ein bisschen größer, ne? I might go and hunt up a bar or something in a little bit. Jo, dann mach das, aber pass auf dich auf. Diesmal hast du keinen Saufkumpan in Form von Olivier, der dich irgendwie notfalls stützen und nach Hause bringen kann, ne? The food was amazing, but the conversation and flow of wine were much less so. If you'll excuse me, I have some lost drinking time to make up for. <lacht> ja, aber pass auf dich auf, ja. Auch wenn ich mir nicht vorstellen kann, dass jemand sich irgendwie mit dem anlegen wird, aber man weiß ja nie. Ah, things have gotten serious. We'll really have to find a way to get in to see Her Majesty. First things first, we go talk to the head maid Hilda, like we promised. She probably knows a way for us to speak directly to the Queen. Fine by me. Äh, ich weiß nicht mehr, wo die Hilda war. Äh, es war aber irgendwo oben, oder? Also ich weiß noch, dass wir sie zum ersten Mal auf dem Dach getroffen haben. Doch, ich glaube, ich weiß noch, wo ihr Zimmer war. Oh, it's you. Wow. Stimmt jemand, den wir kennen? Ach, die beiden schon wieder. Colonel Richard. Hm. 
Let's see him off this Gespräch bin ich jetzt gespannt. <laughs> it's telling Joshua, this is our first opportunity to truly speak face to face, I believe. Mm -hmm. The last time we saw one another was right after Mayor Delmo was arrested, wasn't it? I'm honestly surprised that you remember us. I realize that we exchanged few words, but you made quite an impression on me. My curiosity was piqued, so I did a bit of checking up on you. I was quite surprised to learn that you were the children of Colonel Cassius. Ach, wusste der das vorher gar nicht? Ich dachte, das hat sich irgendwie vorher schon rumgesprochen. Uh, how do you find that out? Naja, so schwer ist das ja nicht. Das weiß doch eigentlich jeder, oder? <laughs> Please understand, I'm not trying to show off the intelligence division's capa cap capable... Capable heißt das... Uh, Additive cap... Ich kann das Wort nicht aussprechen. Was ist denn heute los, ey? Es gibt so einige Substantive, die sind für mich gerade voll knotig. I'm greatly indebted to him from our time together in the army. Indeed, more than words can probably, properly express. Might I persuade you to stay a while and talk? I've been hoping to speak with you two for quite some time now. Huh? Pardon me, Colonel, but don't you have a meeting with His Excellency? I don't mind being a bit late. Ah, yes, if we're going to talk, why don't we use the lounge inside? I'll mix you up uh, a couple of virgin cocktails, nee, lass mal. Uh, I'll prepare them, sir. Nee, dann erst recht nicht. No, that won't be necessary. I want you to go to His Excellency and inform him that I'll be delayed. Ja, yeah, yes, sir. Das gefällt dir irgendwie nicht ganz. Guck mal, ihr Blick. Aber der gilt wahrscheinlich uns, ne? Ja, guck mal. Ist das ein Lachen oder ist das so was Hasserfülltes? Äh, die können sich richtig riechen, die beiden Mädels, ne? Pardon me, then. Tschüss, hoffentlich fliegst du hin. Hoffentlich stolpert sie über den Teppich. Tut sie natürlich nicht. Now then, shall we retire to the lounge? Please follow me. Hm, äh, Joshua, what should we do? I don't see where we have much choice but to follow him. We'll be a little late, but we can talk to the headmate later. Ich habe ja irgendwie gar keine Ahnung, was für eine Richtung das jetzt gehen wird. Aber es ist auf jeden Fall schon mal gut, dass wir miteinander sprechen können. Er wird uns jetzt wahrscheinlich irgendwie voll die Lügen auftischen und wir werden, weiß ich nicht, das hoffentlich irgendwie erkennen. Keine Ahnung. I met Cassius shortly after I graduated from the military academy. I was assigned to a mobile unit that was under his command. And since that time I have found myself in his debt again and again, both personally and professionally. Uh, he did? And uh, what do you think of him at the time? What did you think? To put it simply, he was a hero and a master swordsman to boot. No matter the scenario, he could find a way to handle any number of battlefronts in every direction. It wasn't just a matter of sheer tactics, he understood and could directly high-level strategy as well. Direct, nicht directly. Quite simply, he was a man without peer. Warte mal kurz. So, ich hatte gerade irgendeinen... Haar im Gesicht, was ich mal eben kurz entfernen musste. Quite simply, he was a man without peer. Um, if I didn't know better, I'd say we were talking about two different people. So, you were with our father during the Hundred Days War? Yes, he was my CEO. Even now, I can still vividly remember the excitement that filled me as we executed his plan and turned the war's tide. Anytime I get to talking about those days, time just runs away with me. But this much I can tell you. If Cassius Bright had not been part of the Royal Army, Liver would now be part of the Erebonian Empire. N no way. That's kinda hard to believe. <laughs> well, as a hero, he had a knack for doing unbelievable things. He left the army immediately after the war, declining even a medal from the Queen, so few know of his achievements. But inside the army, many soldiers still hold him up as the prime example of what a hero should be. Uh, he never said one word about any of this to me. Well, it's not really the kind of thing you tell your daughter about. It's not fair to criticize him for that. Hey, whose side are you on? And besides, why doesn't any of this shock you like it shocks me? Did you already know about all uh, of this or something? Well, I didn't know that he was Colonel Richard's superior officer. The rest I knew about vaguely. Vaguely? You're an accomplice? 
<laughs> hey, calm down. It's not like he told me any of it. I just figured a lot of it out. He told me he didn't feel it was something worth going out of his way to tell others about. Grr, I just don't get it. When he comes back, he is so in trouble. <laughs> Hoffentlich bekommen wir uns überhaupt noch mal zu sehen. Ey, wir sind ja schon seit weiß Gott wie lange auf der Suche nach ihm. <lacht> Na, der hat Spaß, ne? Uh, I... Please excuse us, we didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, seeing you like this is actually a bit of a relief. When I found out that your father was intending to leave the military, I desperately tried to stop him. But it seems that by leaving, he did was he did what was best for himself after all after losing his dear wife maybe being with you was all that could help him recover Colonel Richard mm -hmm. now then I thank you for taking the time to come here I really can't keep the Duke waiting so I'm afraid you have to excuse me oh all right uh, apologies for making you so late not at all, you both have told me the one thing I wanted most to know. And thus I have no regrets. Was konkret meinst du denn, huh? How's that again? Haha, <laughs> I'm sure we have a chance to speak again soon. Cassius might even be with us then, so to share in the stories. Uh, okay, er wirft er uns jetzt so einen gewichtigen Brocken vor und macht sich aus dem Staub. Wir dürfen jetzt anfangen zu spekulieren. Super. Um, okay. Who was that man? And what has he done with Colonel Richard? <laughs> what are you babbling about now? Naja, weil er halt so anders war, als ich Estelle das wahrscheinlich erwartet hatte. It's just that it's weird to hear uh, him talking about that that way. I wasn't expecting him to be so, well, nice. True, he doesn't seem all that villainous anyway. Even so, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that he's got something up his sleeve. For now, we should probably put the issue of that aside. Yeah, I guess you're right. And I hate to say it, but I think that he might have been playing nice just because he could get something out of it. He's an intelligence official... Uh, of, uh, blah, Officer, so he probably thinks that fooling a couple of kids is as easy as could be. Dad, don't you think that's going a little too far? Wie naiv ist Tell auf einmal ist. Ich finde Joshua trifft damit genau eine Schwarze. You might be right. Let me be the one who is mistrustful of others. You should just follow your instincts and believe whatever you think is right. Huh? But just make sure you're prepared for anything. Don't let your guard down. I'd say a bracer job. I'd say a bracer's job is pretty much that, in fact. Okay, I got it. I'll keep it in mind. Thank you, Estelle. Thank you. What the heck are you thanking me for? Anyway, we need to go. Uh, we need to go back and see Hilda. She's probably sick of waiting for us. Yeah, she should be in the maid quarters. Ich glaube immer noch zu wissen, wo sich das äh, befindet, aber wir werden es gleich sehen. Ja, also wirklich schlau sind wir jetzt aus diesem Gespräch, finde ich, nicht geworden. Aber ich fand ähm, das interessant, dass Joshua zu Esther meinte, dass sie äh, sich das beibehalten soll, dass sie ähm, so ihren Instinkten folgt und nicht so der Skeptiker ist, sodass das eher so seine Aufgabe ist und so. Would you like an after dinner drink? We can make anything you'd like on or off the menu. Ist aber nett. Hat das nicht beim letzten Mal schon angeboten? Wie ich schon wieder ein zweites Mal überrascht bin, dass wir uns danach irgendwie nichts aussuchen können. So, warte mal. Ich glaube, wir mussten dafür nämlich hier hin. Ist der bewaffnet? Hatten die beim letzten Mal auch schon Knarren in der Hand? Wenn ja, ist mir das nicht aufgefallen. There currently, there's currently an important meeting being held in the throne room. If you were hoping to look around, I'm afraid you have to try again later. Will ich mir das ein oder sind die jetzt viel freundlicher zu uns als beim letzten Mal? Ich bin mir ja nicht sicher, aber ich glaube, das Hilda-Zimmer war hier. Kommt das hin? Sieht gut aus. Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you. You're awfully late, aren't you? Sorry about that. We kind of got caught by Colonel Richard. Did you now? He had some things to tell us about our dad. I don't think he has any idea what we're up to, though. I see. Ah, yes, that letter of introduction did mention that you were Mr. Cassie's children. I can understand at least some of how Colonel Richard feels. 
<laughs> oh, do you know our dad too? He used to come here when he worked as General Morgan's aide de camp, or so. I'm told that he was a school friend of the late princess, Her Majesty's son. Late prince, Princess Claudia's father. Yes, he was killed fifteen years ago in a tragic shipwreck. Uh, would that he would that he were still alive today, none of this would be happening, huh? But lamenting what might have been is a fool's errand. Evening is fast approaching. We must make our preparations at once. Come on in, Shia. Ah, so von unserer Seite. Oh, hey, aren't you? She all right. Yes, uh, thank you for remembering. You look well, Stay Joshua. I've been told of your current predicament or so. You won't find a more dependable child. She's a great help to us whenever the princess is in the castle. Princess Claudia. That shouldn't pose a problem. Th thank you. Uh, if you're ready, you should go change into your uniforms. The ribbons and the headpiece are tricky, so I'll adjust them for you. What? What do you mean? Estelle's going to need to dress as one of the maids in order to get into the royal keep. A little playing with the hair and you'll blend right in. Oh, I get it. Uniforms don't allow for much um, in the way of personalization. That should be ideal for sneaking in. Ah, me in a maid's outfit. Ich kann mir das gut vorstellen. Guck mal, wie beschämt sie aussieht. <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been wanting to try one on since we first met Lila. Cute, breezy, and easy to move in. Haha, <laughs> well, if our uniforms weren't easy to move in, they'd make the cleaning much more difficult. I thought so. Well, let's get this sucker on me. Uh huh, why so excited? I'm glad you're in high spirits, but you need to remember your manners in front of the queen. You won't have me to lean on this time. Mm, why not? Ja, wir können ihn ja nicht auch ja als Maid irgendwie, ne? Verkleiden. You're changing too, aren't you? Das ist ja ein bisschen zu auffällig. Äh, ich meine, der war ja schon mal verkleidet, aber das war ja da nur Unterhaltung, Theater und hier ist das ja jetzt ein bisschen ernster. Oder meint sie das ernst? Pardon? I mean, he did play the princess during the play at the campus festival. Ja, aber... Also, das ist mit echt Risiko verbunden. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich das so äh, machen würde. Is there really that much of a difference between the fancy dress and the maid outfit? Ja, aber vielleicht muss er auch mal sprechen. Und dann hat das, glaube ich, schon üble Konsequenzen, wenn sie dahinter kommen. That's different. It was a play. I can appear before Her Majesty in women's clothes. Oh, you'll be fine. It's not at all shameful or anything. Nein, gar nicht. Sagt sich so leicht aus ihrer Sicht. <laughs> Besides, you made such a gorgeous princess. No, not this again. Cut the jokes, will you? Here, da, Shia. Help me out here. Say something. <lacht> Trauen sich nicht, anyone. <lacht> Guck mal, Joshua, jeder findet, dass du ein gutes Vibe abgibst, ja. Ich meine, das ist jetzt nicht so das Kompliment für ihn, aber... Hm. I see, that shouldn't pose a problem. Shia, don't you have that extra hairpiece designed for the princess? Ye yes, it's never been used, though. Um, he has that full dark hair, so it would probably look good on him. Na, jetzt geht's ja los. Hey, hold on a second. Well, it looks like a 3 to 1 vote. Majority rules. This way, please, we can use this as a changing room. <laughs> That's guy. Well, wait a minute, I don't remember ever agreeing to changing. <laughs> kind of wiederwort. <laughs> Joshua can manchmal echt leid tun. Alright, alright, if I have to change, I can do it myself. Uh, Shia, you're not planning on using makeup too, are you? Eh, kids these days. <laughs> this is so geil. Ich habe so ein Mitleid mit Joshua, aber man kann auch echt nicht anders als total abzulachen, oder? Oh my. Tada! Hey, Estelle ist echt süß wie immer, oder? Die Frau kann auch echt nichts entstellen. Hey, <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. I think it suits her very well. Such a bright, active maid in training, and after only just coming to the castle too, you certainly have me convinced. And with the hair down like that, no one will be any the wiser. 
Perhaps you'd like to work at Grandsir Castle for real when this is all settled? Well, well we already work as bracers, so, um, anyway. Come on, Joshua, get out here. Ich kann gar nicht hingucken. No chance, I can take talk. Uh, I can talk you out of this. Äh, irgendwie. Aber ich finde auch, dass einige Texte, wo ich mich so schwer tue, irgendwie grammatikalisch voll falsch klingen. Not at all. You're just making this take longer. Fine. You're impossible sometimes. <lacht> Wie fies die Entwickler das auch noch gemacht haben mit dem Glitzer und dem Geräusch. Ich feiere das so hart. Armer Joshua. Well, it's almost frightening how good that looks. Ja, das hört er nicht zum ersten Mal. Das war doch genau die Hauptreaktion, die er auch bei dem, bei dem Theaterstück irgendwie bekommen hat, ne? Isn't it awesome? It looks better on him than it does on me and I'm an actual girl. Ja, beleidige ihn noch mehr. Komm, das wird ihm bestimmt total aufbauen. <laughs> A bit of makeup can make all the difference in the world. Please, just say you're done. <laughs> well, I suppose so. I'll show you the way to the royal keep. You need to make certain you watch me and learn how a maid handles herself. Yes, ma'am. Oh, we're finally gonna meet the queen in person. Yes, this is the to the do or die moment. We just have to stay focused and get to the royal keep. Mm. It's hard to take you seriously in that outfit. Ja, solange du keinen Lachanfall bekommst, wenn es darauf ankommt, richtig, uh, uh, sich richtig zu verhalten, ist das okay. Also lach lieber jetzt. Well, well, excuse me. This was your idea. I can't believe you've got the nerve to pick on. S sorry, sorry, don't get all mad. I'll treat you to some ice cream later, okay? Mm, I'm not like you, I'm not obsessed with food. <laughs> hey, I'm not obsessed with food. <laughs> they get along so well, don't they? Mm, we're out of time, let's go to the royal keep. We have a bit of fear that something will happen. Ah, look, I'm even steuering the Hilda. Dieses Royal Keep Dingens, das war äh, draußen gewesen auf dem Dach, ne? So, warte mal, erstmal gucken wir hier noch. Joshua, your skin is almost as soft as a woman's. It's absolutely perfect for makeup. I'm actually kind of jealous. <lacht> Wie soll aber auch immer noch nachtreten? Aber ich glaube, die Mädels, die meinen das gar nicht so böse, ne? Nur das muss für so einen Mann, glaube ich, ganz schön demütigend sein. Ich feiere das trotzdem total. Ich hoffe, Joshua nimmt es mit Humor. Aber der ist ja professionell, ne? Der weiß ja, weiß ja, warum das wichtig ist und so. Und immerhin muss er jetzt Estelle das nicht alleine machen lassen. Aber wisst ihr, wann es kritisch wird, wenn wir ähm, einen Dialog starten? Weil da muss Joshua ja die Klappe halten. Ne? Der darf sich dann ja nicht zu Wort melden, sonst könnte das problematisch werden. So, Hilda ist hier nicht mit drin. War auch klar, man sieht es ja am unteren Bildrand. Gut, ihr Lieben, wir werden aber erst in der nächsten Folge zum Royal Keep gehen. Ich bin sehr, sehr gespannt, ob das hier alles gut gehen wird. Ey, ein falscher Schritt, ein falsches Wort. Und ähm, wir lösen hier wahrscheinlich das totale Chaos aus und der ganze Plan ist hinfällig. Aber beim nächsten Mal gibt es die Antwort. Ich bedanke mich erstmal fürs Einschalten und würde mich sehr freuen, wenn ihr auch beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei seid. Macht's gut, ihr Lieben und bis dann. Ciao!